Farewell, Scott Hall. I mean, this is a tough video to make. I mean, where do you even begin? I mean, you could throw around the terms that everyone is saying on Twitter and on social media and here on YouTube, influential, legend. It, it goes without saying. You don't really need to, you know, go over that and throw around the adjectives. I mean, it speaks for itself. You look at the career of Scott Hall, Razor Ramon, his name is synonymous with the NWO, with both WWE and WCW. Uh, Razor Ramon was one of those wrestlers where when he left WWE, there was like a big dive in the ratings without a doubt. Uh, he was pivotal, one of the last few massive, huge, charismatic stars when you had Shawn Michaels and Bret Hart there. When Razor left... There was a big empty gap, a big black hole that was very hard to uh, fill without a doubt. You know, it's hard to think of Scott Hall without Kevin Nash, his fellow NWL, his fellow outsider. You know, they went to WCW together. You know, I always think of those two together. And obviously, you see it's hitting Kevin Nash quite hard. He's the one who made the announcement. And I have to say, I mean, these complications uh, with the hip surgery and the blood clot, I mean, you got to believe there's got to be some medical malpractice there. A loose blood clot, you know, coming out of nowhere. Uh, it's obviously there's a case. And I hope that his family gets, you know, what's coming to them financially if that's on the table. And I, I'm pretty sure that it is. And it's amazing that, you know, after all these years of Scott Hall and his demons and all the credit in the world goes to DDP for helping him get through all that, helping the man out, uh, it, it, it was something like that, like this, that took him out, led to three heart attacks. Just, I mean, the fact that the man was, you know, still uh, alive, you know, he, albeit on life support, but, you know, still alive and and somewhat kicking after after three heart attacks i mean man that 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 is something else you you gotta just imagine uh you know it's not just like one heart attack three of them and just a, like a chain reaction of just horrible horrific uh medical mishaps it's it's a heartbreaking way to lose him you know i would have thought that if we were to lose Scott Hall, you know, it would have been his body breaking down uh, over the years, like due to the abuse. But, you know, thankfully it's it's not. I mean, this doesn't make it any better, but I think, you know, dying directly from, you know, drugs and alcohol has kind of become the norm for so many. And, you know, we kind of look at it and we kind of say like, you know, well, it's to be expected, but we didn't expect this. So, you know, that that's, like I said, that's what truly makes it all the more disturbing. And I, I kind of believe that this was something with the procedure. I think something went wrong, and that's why I'm I'm in the court of Scott Hall's family all the way. If, if they could get some money out of this, if they could get a lawsuit against the hospital that did the surgery, I say go for it. And, uh, you know, overall... <laughs> How I feel about Scott Hall, man, the man was amazing. What a tremendous wrestler, what an amazing talent, what an iconic personality. I mean, there's no way that I can't think of Scott Hall and not think of him, you know, doing that classic taunt, uh, you know, like that. I mean, there, there's nothing quite like it. You know, you think about him, you think of the toothpick, you think of the bang hanging down, you know, fr from the front of his hair. I mean, just uh, what a, a a classic wrestler. Definitely, you know, if you had to name some wrestler really quickly off the top of your head, more times than not, I think that maybe Scott Hall or Razor Ramon would probably fall from your lips uh, when discussing those sorts of topics. So it's heartbreaking, without a doubt. I mean, like I said, we could go through adjectives. We could say how sad the situation is. There's no way to really put it into words. It is a a, uh, a dark day, you know, for the wrestling world, without a doubt, and uh, for Scott Hall's family. And, you know, God bless the man and his family. And let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. What are some of your favorite uh, Razor Ramon, Scott Hall moments? Um, yeah. 
I guess I should probably say that first, right? Like, what are my favorite moments? Well, uh, I gotta say, you know, from, from, I didn't see it happening, so I, I could say, like, obviously, Razor Ramon and Shawn Michaels at WrestleMania 10, without a doubt, a classic match, uh, you know, one of his best, but, you know, one of my earliest Scott Hall memories would be the fact when Goldberg had to face off against Scott Hall before he could wrestle Hulk Hogan in the same night on Nitro when Goldberg would go on to win the championship. No one really talks about that. And I thought that was a big moment for Scott Hall to be a part of that and be the, you know, the barrier between Hogan, uh, you know, and, and, you know, for, for, uh, for Goldberg to have to go through. So that was a classic moment, you know, obviously maybe not everyone's favorite match, but I've always loved just seeing Scott Hall and Stone Cold at WrestleMania 18. I saw someone put that up on the wrestling juggernauts group. That to me was always a classic moment. Always a, uh, and to me, it was a classic match. You, you didn't get to see this previously. So it was a very unique match. And uh, I liked seeing it. I, I thought it was just great to see those two guys going at it in the big arena. And, um, you know, there's something about presence of just having him and Stone Cold being there. So that, that was another great moment for me. And, and many others. Those are just some off the top of my head that I could think of. But let me know yours below. And uh, please subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bells to get all notifications when I post all my new videos. I want to thank all my patrons for your continued support. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you next time.